All right, y'all, welcome back to Rebels Canyon. It is me, Envy Jumper, and doing a little bit different today. Uh, actually, showing the end of the war live, so the last minute countdown. Uh, definitely going to be uh, a win for us here, um, even if they were to try to sneak attack us last second and, and get all of their attacks in. Um, down 11 points. There's just no way they're going to clean up uh, and get, score 11 points on us. There's just not a chance. Not even sure why they never attacked our bottom person. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, all of our attacks used, except for, of course, that uh, MLE-2, um, but that's an inactive account. Um, we just kind of keep throwing it into wars. Um, just as kind of to, you know, bring in an easy matchup at the bottom that we can clean. Um, just to kind of bring it, uh, keep the levels down a little bit. Um, and it, it's no problem for us to cover it. So, again, watching live, the end of the war, another victory, 25-14. to 14, So, good job, Rebels Canyon. Way to pull out another win. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go through uh, some of the stats here. 92% to 56%. These guys just really were not very good. We've had a, a lot of matchups lately with just teams that just don't know what they're doing. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but, we, you know, we can't do anything about that. If we get easy competition, we get easy competition. So, um, a Turkish clan, uh, check the stats. Only one attack lost. I uh, considered showing that in the video, but it really wasn't. Just kind of got some bad luck on it. Um, nothing really funny with it. Um, just coming through the rest of the stats. Most scroll attack by Lieutenant Dan this time, so not one of our low guys. We got one of our high guys to get up there. The Town Hall 10 attack. And we're going to watch that one, of course. Uh, it was a really good attack. So going through the team, uh, not to Dan, Lieutenant Dan, of course, did pretty well. Horrible war by me, just could not get anything going at all. Um, but really good in the middle. Uh, the middle really held itself up. Arv, excellent, six stars. Uh, Drive, just really unlucky in that first attack there, but had a cleanup, so really close to six stars there. Um, Jimbo with a nice cleanup, and flow with uh, five stars five initial stars so good job by her checking the defenses here again bottom person not even attacked very surprising uh just coming up and the good uh, defense by lieutenant dan against their number one person so now i'll check the enemy team and number one guy coming down to clean up a uh, beaker there and then other than that just a lot of attacks not used um there was about six hours left in the war, and they'd only used eight attacks, and they've only used two since then, so uh, it kind of seems like they gave up a little bit. Uh, maybe they thought it was too far out of reach. All right, checking their defenses. Looks like seven gave us a little bit of trouble. Um, four, I know, gave us some trouble, um, but nothing too bad. So, All right, so we'll check the uh, most heroic first, as always. And he's going to bring just a simple go wipe. As you can see, it's nearly a maxed out base. The only thing that's not really maxed out are some of the cannons. Um, a baby little new cannon there by the queen. Heroes aren't maxed out. Uh, but all the major defenses are maxed out. Um, some of the Tazalas aren't. You'll see them pop in the northwest later. Uh, but it just brings a, uh, a three golem uh, go wipe. Really making sure he's got his tanks in there. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit to focus on the action. Drops these max P.E.K.K.A.s, and these max P.E.K.K.A.s, they just do so much damage, it's ridiculous. Um, but really good funnel, making sure his troops go right where they want them to. Uh, gets the free spells down in, that, in close Inferno. Just really making sure he gets at least that star in that Town Hall. Um, so making sure he freezes, uh, he's actually getting a lot of value. He's getting the Inferno Tower, and it looks like two Expos, all with one freeze. Uh, so really good value for each spell. Uh, gets the Town Hall to go down. Only brought the one jump spell. Usually he brings two jump spells, um, but I guess needed the extra uh, firepower and heals and rages in that in that middle. Um, but heroes come right back out to the side. Uh, Golems and, and Pegas do a little bit of cleanup in there, but they're going to go down in the center. Um, but gets everybody coming back out to the side. So this is where it really kind of saved him to get this second star. Uh, rather than everything continue on in the middle and getting hit by all of those defenses circling him and hitting him all at one time, they luckily they split back around that jump spell. Come back up to the side where there's a lot of these trash buildings, which allows them to come in here and get the cleanup. Uh, and same thing with that P.E.K.K.A. there, those two P.E.K.K.A.s, instead of going up towards those Archer Tower and Wizard Towers, they come around here to the side and open up a hole to get into this trash and get all of these trash buildings. And it just really allows them to build up the percentage. 
I already got the two star, and now I'm just working on a percentage, you know, just in case if the war was closer and had tie. It's always good to get those high percentages. But luckily, again, those uh, Pekkas went to the outside. Uh, Queen doing a little bit of damage here. Um, eventually goes down as soon as she gets rid of the Archer Tower. But uh, Pekka's just cleaning up this trash building from the outside. Um, just getting really, really lucky there with how they split out there to the side to stay out of most of the defenses and be able to clean up these trash buildings and get some uh, good percentage. Last Tesla pops there, and Tesla's against Pekka's are just going to wipe them out. So good job there by Lieutenant Dan. So now we're going to check um, an attack by Beaker. Uh, this was an, an initial attack and just doing a, a go volo, um, but a little bit weaker than the ones that I usually do just because some of the troops aren't quite up there. But really poor base layout as far as the heroes and clan castle go just made no sense to me. Um, but getting the really wide funnel with the wizards um, and just doing a mass engagement. Drops the golem down just to soak up some damage. And then the heroes and double witches, some wizards, all going down there in the center. Drop the Valkyrie uh, down in here. Um, really thought the Valkyries would go around to the side there, but they actually route up to the wall. But luckily that jump spell, perfectly timed and perfectly placed, reroutes those Valkyries, gets them right into the center. Rage and heal the Valkyries. And rage and heal Valkyries are just going to absolutely crush everything. Uh, so it gets the entire core cleaned out. Uh, just waiting for these uh, uh, air defenses to go down. Once they do, look at the balloons start coming in, and there's only really three defenses that can damage these balloons. There's archer towers on the south, west, and north. So drops the balloons right on those. Excellent placement of the balloons. Um, drops a couple extra balloons there to back up where those Tesla towers are, and there's just nothing left. Everything was in the core uh, and taken out by the initial kill squad. Uh, so just absolutely nothing left to, to threaten these balloons. Um, really good timing, really good attack. Got the cleanup going on the outside already. The king tanking for these wizards. Got some minions going down to tank, uh, to take out some of these trash buildings. Uh, cleanup well underway. A couple balloons go down there to the bomb, but no big deal. There's so much left. All it is just matter of cleanup now. So we're going to go ahead and speed this up. So again, really good attack, really nice go volo. Um, it's really super overpowered if they, they put their uh, air defenses all in that one core. There's just really nothing you can do against it. So good attack there by Beaker. So we're going to watch two more really quick attacks, and I really only want to focus on the beginning of them. They're both cleanup attacks, one by Arvor here and one by Drive. Uh, they're both cleanup attacks, but they both highlight the same point, and it goes into scouting and... A little bit of base defense, you know, of what not to do as far as base defense goes. And then also for scouting, it really makes it important to watch the replays. And watch down here on the south side, because it's a cleanup, we knew where all of these uh, giant bombs were. And the, the skeleton trap, so just sending in just a little barb. Uh, you know, missed this third one there, but drops the next troop down to get it. Drops those. And then there's another one up here. Drops his hog in here to come up towards this top attack. Uh, or tries to get the barb to do it, but doesn't quite work. But drops a couple hogs, take out that Tesla, and then they move in, trigger that bomb, start drawing the troops up there, and also get the CC draw. So then it's a matter of pulling the troops up to the north side, doing your uh, kill squad, getting rid of that CC, dropping the poison spell down. So really good scouting, um, and it just goes to show you know if you, if you get a good even if you can't three-star base, if we can get somebody in there to, to scout it and find all these traps, it makes the cleanup so much easier, even if they're not horribly placed like this one. So we're going to do super speed on this one just to get the time down. Um, just comes through and just absolutely wrecks it with these hogs. But uh, if you can get that really good scout, and even if the bombs aren't horribly placed, just knowing where they are and being able to plan around that, either with heal spells or how you path everything or trigger those bombs uh, before you send in your main hog squad, um, just really makes a, a cleanup attack and getting that three star on the second time is so much easier. So same principle on this next one we're going to watch. Uh, person leaves a really weird gap right there in the center. But again, simple just, you know, draws out all, draws the CC out, draws the skeleton traps, get two bombs out of the way. Uh, horrible just base design, but really good scouting and knowing what to do. Gets the rest of that CC out there. And then just going to simply pull them off to the side, do the kill squad, and then everything else is, is just clean up. So we'll watch the kill squad, and you can see it's under two minutes for this attack. 
So gets the kill squad in here, takes care of all those barbarians, gets rid of the dragon. And you can see how quickly this base goes down. I mean, once that's down, I'm under a minute 30 for everything else to go down. Let's that king die and then launches his attack. Just kind of a mass spam of hogs. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up. A couple more giant bombs in here, but he knew where they were, so he was able to drop heals early um, and get the heals over top of where the giant bombs were. So nothing left to, to threaten his hogs. And they just come around, get this cleanup done, and clean up the attack, and that will be it. So again, really nice win. Um, some nice attacks in there. Different couple different strategies than we've seen and a couple different highlights of uh, cleanup. So nice little 25 to 14 win and against the level five clan. And we will see you next war and hopefully we'll continue this streak that we're on.